Hello you beautiful midgets, I hope you all are having a great day. This day is a beautiful day so far for me, so I hope the same for you. With the season 3 update, there was a lot of changes to the snipers too. The ADS time has been increased for all the snipers, except maybe the M21 and the XPR. I am not really aware of that because I don't really even use those weapons. But I can definitely assure you that the Arctic 50, DLQ33, and the Locust are the top three snipers in the game as of now. On the number three spot, we actually have the Arctic 50. The Arctic 50 is a really great sniper, especially from long range, which is what snipers normally do. But you know, in the case of the DLQ33 and the Locust, you can use those two snipers to quick scope all the time. But I find the Arctic 50 being much weaker and much less i guess viable whenever it comes to quick scoping with it it also feels much weaker since the update but if you're really far and you're trying to secure a flag let's say you're playing domination you could really use the arctic 50 to your advantage how is that you may ask yourself well actually arctic 50 has a pretty fast fire rate therefore you can actually kind of spam your shots and kill more enemies faster and you know it's really nice because you can actually hold a spot with a sniper which is crazy one definite disclaimer that i do have to give you is that the sway is actually much bigger so if you're hard scoping for a long time be careful and keep that in mind now i do have to tell you that the dlq 33 and the locus are actually very similar however one has five more damage and the ads time is much quicker the number two spot has to go to the DLQ33 and that's actually, you know, not a big difference between the two. One is actually a little bit stronger and it really doesn't make much of a difference only when it comes to an assist. Because nonetheless, you still have to shoot from the waist upwards for you to secure a kill, otherwise you'll just get a hit marker. Despite all that, the DLQ33 is actually a really good sniper and it's not really out shadowed by the locust they are actually both great snipers in order for you to obtain the locust though you have to reach pro 2 and ranked multiplayer which is actually not that hard just uh team up with a couple of your friends and you'll be there quick by next season there should be a lot of people playing with the locust though because right now a lot of people are grinding their way to pro 2 thankfully i already have the locust so i can use it whenever i please and I did not have to pay for it, it's a free weapon, unbelievably true, but it is what it is. Then of course, I don't even have to say this, but the Locust is number one. It has five more damage, ADS is faster, and it's just overall sexier for me. Personally, it's sexier, much sexier. Comment down below if you think the DL is sexier, or maybe another sniper is sexier. You know, a sniper that I actually find really sexy, it's actually a DMR, but it's really sexy, is the XPR 50 and the M21. They are both really sexy weapons, but sadly they are not as good as, you know, maybe the game and I am almost 100% sure that the XPR or the M21 will get a buff soon and we will be left with our mouths open because we're gonna be super surprised. Like who would think that those two crappy snipers would be upgraded or in other words, buffed. Pretty crazy to me, but it happened with the AK and I believe it is possible for it to happen to those two DMRs. Now thank you for watching and this is actually the end of the video. I hope you subscribed for more quick and to the point type videos or even for some stupid and funny videos that I like to make once in a while. Anyway, see you on the next one or maybe this is the last time I see you. Who knows? Peace out.